Oh my god, he's right on it. He got it. That's a giant coal. I need the net. Don't jump. Oh. Oh my god, it's giant. That could be a big. Yeah, that's a bigger head shakes on that guy. Oh. This is cool, Cole. If the video like creates and exports and does everything right, this will be one of the coolest live displays of live scoping I think you can find on the interwebs. Good? What is up, MFers? I'm so excited for the video today. We're gonna run things a little bit differently than we ever have in the past on the channel. Uh, it's winter here in Texas, and we're on some really, really good fish. I was here the other day at this lake, and I caught just sub 13 pound bass, and I did it in a really interesting way. I caught on a little tiny swim bait on a spinning rod absolutely insane so obviously we're coming back here today now one thing i know you guys have been asking for for a very very long time is to do a live unedited uncut video where you guys can see exactly what happens all day long and you guys want to see more footage of the pan optics what i'm seeing as i'm fishing today and we're going to give you both. We're going to do um, as uncut as possible. I don't know if we're going to be out here seven, eight, nine hours today, so it's probably not going to be that long of a video. We'll try to kind of keep it to the exciting part somewhat so it's not just a bunch of nonsense. But one thing you guys can do down in the video description, I'll put little time stamps for when hopefully things happen and we catch some giant fish. We were here the other day and there was some crazy stuff happening, but let me hop behind the wheel here. We need to do some searching and then we'll get up on front. I'll explain to you the conditions, what we're looking for today. So hopefully you can apply that. Uh, it's really, really cold. So it's probably gonna apply to a lot of you guys around the country. When ice comes off your lake or if you're down south, what you're dealing with a lot of right now, which is a pre-spawn cold front. It's gonna be a fun day. I hope we catch some giants. I know they're out there. Could be a special one. All right, hop up here, Cole. Tell me when you're ready. So first thing we're gonna do this time of year, especially given the conditions, we'll talk about in a second, what's happened the last few days, it's very important that we find some bait fish. And so before we go any further, that's what the fish were relating to last time we were here. We need to find some damn bait fish. As you can see out here deeper, even in 25, 30 feet of water, there's a lot of undergrowth, some brush. Clearly this lake was flooded uh, or it was super, super low. And so a lot of those fish this time of year will suspend in those areas. There's a little ball of bait right there. We're looking for a little bit more than that. Um, looks like we found it. That looks great right there. So on down scan, you guys can see this giant school bait. And then over here on side scan, that's what we're looking for right there. That's a big old donk. There's another fish right there that's not a bait fish. So we just have a blanket of bait right here. And sometimes that's too much bait. So we'll kind of just have to see what that looks like once we get up front on, on uh, pan optics to see how many bass are mixed in. A lot of times they get kind of lost in the big groups of lost in the sauce that's right but again we just on side scan we got good fish good fish good fish these kind of look like crappie or something that's another good fish over the top of a bunch of bait damn we're down 37 40 feet of water in that channel right there and i think we're probably gonna start right here see what it looks like Let's give it a go. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a real big one. That's good, Cole. That's what you want right there. This is the goal of fishing this time of year. Big ball of bait, big donk chasing. Yeah, that. I'm gonna put this on down scan. So when you're back there filming, you can't see the map of the lake. Hop up here quick, Cole. Or just a quick segment right there, then I'm gonna put the chest cam on. I'm gonna put this down quick. Ready, going? 
before we start fishing, let me tell you about the conditions. And I'm, I'm honestly, I'm kind of nervous about it because the last two days it's been like 80, 85 degrees here. As you can tell by my attire, it's not 85 right now. It's like 35, the wind's blowing. Got down the 20s last night, so we had a major cold front blow in yesterday. That's either going to make this really good or almost impossible. Regardless, you guys like when we whack them, you like when we struggle, and we'll kind of see how we work our day through this. We started out on the main basin of the lake fishing for these fish that are chasing schools of shad. Um, that's one method we can use. Another thing that uh, we're probably definitely going to end up doing throughout the day, there's a ton of standing timber in this lake. A lot of times fish will suspend in standing timber with cold fronts or just in the cooler time of the year. So we're definitely going to be spending some time doing that. Out here in the main basin, these are the main tools we're going to use. We got these, actually, this is a brand new guy. You've never seen this before. The six cents whale now in a smaller package. We're coming out with a three inch and three and a half inch size coming soon on a little ball head jig. Again, spinning rod, 10 pound braid, eight pound liter of fluorocarbon. Gets a little bit scary, hairy, all sorts of stuff. And then of course, this was not the deal last time, but maybe the cold front will make it happen. We got the old A-rig tied up. That'll be something that we use out here quite a bit. And the great thing is you guys are going to see, just like I do, how these fish react and what adjustments we need to make as we go through the day. I also have a jerk bait tied on. I got a big swim bait tied on. Once we get into the, uh, the standing timber, a little bit shallower, a little higher in the water column those fish I think will be, we'll probably apply those. But for now, let's start out here this morning and see if we can get a giant. this all formatted and everything slow mm -hmm. thank you let's see if I can rip it out Pam recording yep. Pam re might want to start a new clip on that when I start my talking might be easier that'll be in two hours when I figure out my hoods Pretty cool. Okay, time to see how these guys are gonna react to this cold front. Man, I hope they're kind to me. I got my little tiny whale swim bait right here and I put it on a quarter ounce jig head, a tungsten guy because we want it to get down there quickly. Seeing some bait on the screen here that looks like a yeah that's a giant bass actually that fuzzy mark down there about 15 feet let's drop this guy straight down to him he's probably not going to react straight down but those are those are some mammoths if you will i actually did tie on a uh, demiki rig too that might be a way we try to target some of these there's a good fish when they show up as like fuzzy balls like that that's what my uh 12.7 showed up as the other day. And he's gone. Look at all that bait. That's craziness. And we got Mr. Fuzzball over here. Just cast it back. Let's pendulum it back behind the boat. Ooh, there's a guy down there too. Maybe he'll see it. No takers. That's good. That's what you want. <laughs> that was a lie. You don't want that. That big thing at like 30 to 35 is called a ghost tree. That's no bueno, but that's what you gotta deal with. Sometimes it's just interference. It's not bait or anything. These uh, main lake fish might take some time to warm up. 
supposed to get up to like 55, 60, I think later. Maybe 55 is the highest, but. That might help these fish and really all the fish in the lake get a little bit more active. But there's bass out here around bait and they're not around them so they can watch them swim by. They're around them to eat them, so. Man, it's chilly. It's a big one out there. Didn't get it to him. giant out there, man. Well, this guy's going to see it. If he eats it or not, we're going to know. Ooh, he swam away from it. That is not fun. That's not what you want. That's a good fish, too. That's probably a seven, eight pound fish, at least. Yikes. <laughs> well, he knew we weren't real. Let's try the A-rig around some of these fish quick. That's not fun. When they're running from a three inch swim bait, I mean, the bite's generally not gonna be great that day. See what he does with the A-Rig. He's kind of chasing it, maybe. Maybe he's just swimming this way. That guy's done. Let's find a friend. Luckily there's so many fish down here we can just test out our bait choices on a bunch of them. A lot of times these fish, when the water cools down like this, will eat a uh, jerk bait too, better than most things. Hopefully. Yeah, let's try a jerk bait on that guy. didn't move. That's not ideal. It's a good fish. What's he going to eat? Nothing? Probably. Two big fish. The other day when I was here, they were like finding it. If you got it within 10 feet of them, they'd try to come get it. And that's probably a 10 pounder there. On the bottom too is a big one. On the bottom is about impossible to get to though. Do it, he's gonna do it. He's on it. Oh, that's a big one too. Oh, hit the brakes, he's come back after it. Come on, bud. Oh, ho, ho. swerve, that fish was so close to doing it. That's a big one too. Dang, let's throw a different swimmer at him. Well, that's good to see that they will somewhat sort of kind of consider biting. 
the stem. He likes the swim bait too. Do it, bud. <laughs> swerved. We got swerved, Cole, but at least we had one chase and think about maybe wanting to think about wanting to do it. Yeah, it was badass, dude. He almost did it. Thought he was going to. Dang. These opportunities don't come around much. That's why we came to this lake where uh, there's this many fish everywhere you pan. We thought this would be a good opportunity. Show you guys some things. The guy wants it. He's on it, you just can't see it in the ghost tree. Oh, he's right behind it. Do it. I don't think he's gonna do it. Let's try his buddy. His buddy looks a little bigger. <laughs> his buddy got spooked. Spooked by a three inch jerk bait. It's probably a six, seven pound fish. Bunch of pansies. to that guy. It's going to take a long cast into the wind with 3 16 ounce tiny jig, but yeah, we missed him. Maybe get his buddy though. Dang, Cole, there's big fish here. it oh what made him hit the brakes dude he is so close to doing it what in the world Cole did you rub these swim baits on your nuts last night or something understandable I don't even know where those fish went to after they disappeared. The one turned and went right after it like he was done deal. Hit the freaking brakes like crazy. Oh, that guy wants it. Dude, these fish are being so weird. Not terrible, just really weird. Range.
they're re really close to biting. I don't know if I need to throw some scent on or what. It's like the most eight to 12 pound fish I've ever seen in a spot in my life. What's that? Good, me too. Throw a little bit of scent up my guy or something. I don't know what the deal is. Cold doesn't help. Maybe this afternoon they'll be going. Tomorrow, probably. Tomorrow it'll be on fire. There, good job, guy. Now you smell like man-made scent. What are these guys doing up on the surface? I guess, I mean, they're fish. They can do what they want to do. If they want to swim by the surface, they can swim by the surface. That guy can swim wherever he wants to to eat my cricket. You bet. Not a big one, but we're off to a start. Yahtzee, MFers. Yahtzee. So that one was like a couple feet below the surface. And I don't know why he was up there. Clearly he was up there to do the right type of thing, which is chew. Deal. I mean, there's a reason. They're up here and that's Chad's. Not a big one, but it's a start. Look at that, three and a half pounder. You bet, it's 35 degrees out here. Water temperature's down like eight degrees from three days ago. And it probably warmed up 10 degrees, five degrees since we were here last before that. So it's probably dropped 20 degrees in a day. We'll catch them anyway. There's more. He wants it. Oh, I thought he had it in his mouth. In the world these fish are doing weird swerve stuff like they're like hauling ass and then just gone hauling ass like that's in their mouth <laughs> oh their little brains are telling them like oh a sinking fish must eat and then their cold front brain's like, no, so cold, don't do it. See how those chucks are really fuzzy looking? It's because they're moving away from us right now. Either one fish or both those fish just freaking swerved and tried to eat it. Probably a good time to move on to some other ones, but those look like good solid fish at 45, 50 feet right there. I'm gonna go for that one up high quick. It's smaller looking, but. Nope. A lot of swerves. A lot of those swerves. Generally the bigger fish, you can see their head and their tail. Like this one right here, you cannot. 
it does not look like a giant fish. But right now, we haven't caught a whole lot, obviously. I'm not discriminating and just casting up the big ones at this point. <laughs> Hopefully we get to that point today where I'm like, nee. That one's only six pounds. We're not casting at him. Look at those big old fuzz balls down there. Drop the Dimiki to that guy. Look at those dudes. Three of them. Just sitting under that bait, chewing. Big old spiral Demiki rig falling down there. Let's see if he grabs it. Those guys did not eat the Demiki rig. This suit is not black. What about you guys? Do you guys eat swim baits? If I can ever catch up to him, I bet he would. And I can't. small chuck wood. Yep. Oh, that's a big one actually. That is a really big one. Oh, he's right on it. See how he's just gliding through the water? That's what big ones look like. He must have just been facing me so it didn't look very big. Oh my god, he's right on it. He got it. That's a giant coal, I need the net. Oh man. Yeah, we ain't moving this one for a little bit, I don't think. Why do you want to jump? Don't jump, don't jump. Oh. No, dude, I saw them. those big ones, they can like kick their tail and just glide through the water column. It's so cool. He's trying to, no, no. And that's exactly what that one did. Is that 10 pounder? <laughs> Cole says, yeah. Definitely. Looked like it. Well, the last, the 12.8 I caught the other day, 12.7, we thought was like six when it hit the net and when we saw him out of the water. So, dude, I threw at this guy. I thought he was small and then it, it, he was just like facing me or something. I didn't see his width, his broadness. Yeah, you can stay down, bud. Just stay down. Just stay down, bud. Everything's cool. Just stay down. Oh my god, it's giant. Yep. <laughs> Dude. Here you go, slaw. Use your bionic slaw arms. In a half hour. We don't got to do nothing, dude. This is ridiculous. 
we were out here fishing the other day and it's no knock on Jack York. He's one of the best fishermen in Texas, but he had never done this that much with a spinning rod. And these things are thought of as like a myth. No one uses spinning rods in this state. And this is probably why. I'm probably gonna lose this fish, <laughs> break him off or something, but they won't eat a rig right now. Oh, and he's in the grass. That's an issue. Other side, Cole. He's right here. I did not know this grass was here. I would have pulled him away. He's still on. Here you go. Oh. We're going to fight him the other way now. I did not know that grass was here. No. He's smart. Yeah, he is smart. Here you go. Here you go, Cole. Don't jump. Don't jump. Boom! Yes, sir! It's not a tent, it's just a giant frame. <laughs> so long. So long. Hell yeah. Donk on the spinning rod. Look at that thing. He was never coming off. You get that boy stuck in your freaking grass up there on eight pound test. It's not ideal. <laughs> how long that fish is no wonder he looks so big hopefully you guys saw him kind of gliding through the water chasing on pan optics big old head not a 10 he's close though he's, he's a good fish thanks cole man it's cold out here yeah, he's so long he's, he's so long dude he's like probably 26 inch fish <sighs> Whew. things longer maybe dude. he's so long I can't believe he's one of the only fish ever that's not filled out. Eight, eight fifteen. Hell yeah! I mean, if we're gonna catch fish out of here and they're being dumb and tough, might as well have an eight pounder come get it. Yes, tiny baits. Don't underestimate the tiny baits, guys. I'm gonna box him so we can get a picture later, Cole. Yeah picture boxer. Brush the power on. Sweet. Oh. Yeah. That's too much fun. He didn't really fight that much different than the uh, 12 I had the other day. But I think there could be a couple more of those in our future. And I know there's 13, 14, maybe 15 pounders in here. Let's go find one of those. Got to rig another cricket up quick. We rolling, Cole? Dude, that was terrifying when that one freaking got in the grass. I thought he was gone, though. He was, like, on the face of the dam. Man, I'm glad these goofballs are eating even after that cold front. There's another monster right there. See, I would have swore that one was a 10 pounder when I saw how long his frame was, but he was a skinny guy. On to the next gigantor. Oh my God, that's a giant one. Down underneath bait, eating it. Please swim right to my guy. He's underneath the bait. Probably freaking catfish or something.
do it. They got, oh! He's still coming up like he's freaking hooked. Damn, dude. I dropped my cricket right underneath the water bait and he. Dude, this is insane how many good fish are out here. Let's see if we can get that guy to bite again. I don't think he's going to. Cole, this is what people think happens every time you put the trolling motor down with live scope. This is not normal, folks. You guys are herding the bait so fast I can't even get my bait down to them. It's kind of kind of have to be the perfect presentation to even catch one of those guys that's underneath the bait because they're obviously eating the real thing. In this, I got a three sixteenth ounce head on this swim bait, so it don't sink too fast. That should be a good cast. Might be a little behind them though. Yep, a little behind them. This might not be that big anyway. Come on, bud. If I could just cast. Yeah, I'm gonna go after those guys. All right, bud, stop chasing bait and look up and see mine. Didn't listen to me. How rude. Another damn dweller guy.
missed him. Just barely. I'm never saying one's not big again, Cole. coming in from out there. There's just so much bait around him that it's hard to really see him, put it right on him. It's a big fish, big uninterested fish. Missed him. He turned around, he saw it. Is he gonna get it? He got it. That's a giant one. It's a good one though. I'd like if he was giant. We're on the board again with a cricket slurper. Yahtzee. Oh, flipped him over. Hopefully you guys could see that that fish was not as big and what the difference looks like on there, but little two pound guy. They're mixed right in as well with the big ones. Get it. Just thinking about it. Ah, what a dick. Goodness, that one's massive. Yeah, I don't even look like a bass. Straight down, too. Where are my crickets at? I don't know anything.
Oh, he wants it. Oh, swerved. Thought he was going to do it. Nothing, huh? We'll try your buddy then. Oh, what are these guys doing? Those are big. Didn't like that. Just kidding. He liked it. <laughs> Spooked him and then he turned around and doof. I got one on, Cole. It's usually good when you spook it when you bring it by the first time and he can't see it. That usually means he's going to flip back around and pull the trigger. You would think opposite if you spooked them that they wouldn't, but... This is another, probably the second best fish. Definitely the second best fish we've had today. There's a bunch of these guys out here. Little spinning rod, guys. Look how he ate that. Where's my swim bait? There's the swim bait. Down. There. Five pounder. Fat guy. You guys got to see meat. Somewhat. Yahtzee call. They're biting. Let's see if these guys bite too. Nope, he didn't. Big fish down in the depths. This is just too good. Too good of a bite right now. This is too good, Cole. Where 
Where's my shits? Best thing is, if people see us out here on the water, we can disguise ourselves as crappie fishermen, cool. Oh yeah, good crappie in here, trying to catch dinner. Well, my casting is not great today, but at least the fishing is decent. It's okay. Come on, bud. I need to throw that whale, Cole. I need to catch some fish on the little guy. That was a mistake. Oh God. Heads up, hooks. <laughs> Every hook I own's down there. That's a scary one. A lot of big guys there. Ah. You hurt yourself just putting that back, Cole. Oh great, spook the fish. Oh, that's a monster. Monster. That's what a 10 plus pounder looks like, guys. We'll see if he'll bite. Probably not, but that is a true grown one. Eat my cricket. Whew. We gotta try something else with that one. He is so big. The ones like on the dam are the biggest, it seems like. Keep wanting to ask if you're seeing these fish, Cole, but I'm like, oh yeah, it's not recording on the phone. <laughs> you do not see them. You'll see them later. See this beach ball right here. He's looking at it. I do not like that. That's a damn shame. He really looked at it like he was going to do it.
chaser. Not going to do it. Guy in the distance. Swimming to my left. Shorter than. The drag was too loose. God dang it. He's still chasing it. God dang, Ben. That was on the little whale. That's a big fish, too. Shit. Oh, Ben might swear in this one, too. Parental advisory and shit. Ugh. What, Cole? Thank you. God dang it. Freaking Jack had this loose as shit. Freaking Texans. We haven't even been over to where I caught the big one the other day. What is that thing? It looks like a log. <laughs> We're fishing for fish, not logs. Turd roller. That could be a monster. That little fuzzy guy, yeah, that is a giant one. You can just barely see him. On the bottom right. There. I think he's gone. Two giants.
You're right in his face. I'd have turned him, I can't really tell. Cole, we got another share lunker here. You bet. Stopped him at least. I didn't really turn, but he stopped. He just got real hard to see. I think he was fucking chasing. I don't think that's him, but... Dang it. Where'd that guy go up high? He wants to eat. Slow it down. No, he doesn't now. Terrible cast. Great. Pretty good fish. Swerved. All right, swerved's fine. On to the next one. There's a good fish. Come on. Quit swimming towards bait fish and just eat my cricket. There, that's on your head, kinda. Just stop moving. Stop moving. There we go. Do it. Do it. Do it, he's on it. He only liked it when it was falling. Let's try his friend that's actively chasing bait. Maybe he'll bite. It is if I could cast. There, we're going to intercept his little path now. That guy ain't biting. Those guys might, though. If I miss him. Cole, I can't cast. Keep missing my target by three inches. Giving it up. Let's start a bowling channel.
That's like a school or something. School of something that don't want to bite. That's a giant one right there. Swimming the wrong directions. That's the biggest thing with this live scope is you gotta see as you turn, especially with the Garmin, because the Garmin's got a wider beam angle than the Lowrance. I don't know what the Humminbird's crappy product they put out has, but when you see, like right now we can see that fish, but if I pan to the side, we can still see it right there, but it's not a super bright return. Once I turn it to right where he's at, we get that real bright return. And when you do that, you can see what direction they're going by how you turn the trolling motor and if it gets brighter or not. So that's what I'm constantly doing to see what direction the fish is going to see how I have to lead my cast because you can see right now we're in 27 feet of water. And now he is inside of that ball of bait just having a feast right now and we have lost him. <laughs> Maybe he'll pop out in a second. Yeah, there he is on the back side of it. Yep, there he goes. He just ate 115 shad, so he's going to weigh another pound now, at least, if he bites. That's all I needed, Cole, on that 12.7, 12.8 I had the other day. If he would have just slashed through a bait ball 10 seconds before. Another bait ball. I mean, he probably did go through a bait ball. I'm just going to keep covering water behind the trolling motor here and put it in front of new fish. Kind of give the ones we were chasing a second ago a break. Although I don't know if they need it because there's so many of them. It's not like we stuck or spooked all of them or anything like that. We just need to find new water and maybe we'll go through a jerkbait around the timber in a second. See what that looks like. See if there's some giants in there. That's kind of a bigger fish pattern. There's probably not going to be only two, three pounders in there, but I mean, we're straight up trying to catch a donk here today now at this point. We got no reason to try to catch three or four pounders even after how good this bite is. And honestly, it's not going to keep lasting. Unfortunately, people are going to see these videos eventually and We'll probably never be able to put our boat on this lake again. The parking lot will be too damn full. <laughs> there we go. That guy's getting it. That guy almost got it on the fall. He's still going to do it. Yep, he got it. It's cool. They just suck it in. You guys could hopefully see how aggressive that fish was and how active he was once he caught wind of it. And that's just a little 2-8 swim bait. And these fish can sense that and feel that with their lateral line because there's no way they see it. I don't know if you guys can see this water clarity right here, but it's two feet at most. And you always say a bass can see about three times as far as we can in the water. Well, that's only six feet. This guy saw this thing from like 15 or felt it from like 15 feet away, it seemed like. Not a big one, but super fun. You bet. Another one. I'll catch that one. Thanks, Cole. We recording? It's recording. Everything's recording? This is so weird. The fish are biting and the cameras are working. That's like a 5% thing. What's that? Deal. We just have to cut out a few of the super bad swear words. <laughs> Leave in the bad ones, cut out the super bad ones. Cole let off a string of ex expletives earlier. There were words I had never even heard before. I'm a little scared, honestly, just to be around him at this point. What's really weird about these fish is at this lake anyway, on this bite today and the other day, 
they're acting like crappie. And what I mean by that is they want to, they're super interested. They're more interested than anything when the bait's falling. Generally a bass, um, you got to have it swimming, obviously, or doing something, dragging, or just still. You can't really fish a swim bait still, obviously, but it's super bizarre that they want this bait to be falling and then a lot of them lose interest in it once it starts swimming which is weird you have to crank that handle super slow and get that kick going real nice to even have them have a chance once they see it swimming that's exactly how crappie are a lot if you guys fish for crappie on live scope especially you know that they love the pendulum and the straight fall so it's just kind of bizarre it's also like like i said it's bizarre that they uh can eat or see a bait that's this subtle and small too in this color water, but I ain't gonna argue with them. I'm gonna try to jerk bait this guy on the top of this tree. Might be a damn crappie, speaking of. Speaking of the devil, where's my cricket? Cole, can we say devil? Is that is that okay to say in 2022? Speaking of the devil? Do I need to do like a disclaimer? I'm not referring to anything in religious terms or anything like that. I'm just political, religious, uh, gender, race. I'm just simply stating that speaking of the devil, it's a figure of speech. Oh, he almost just got it. He might still. Oh, now I'm really going to say speaking of the devil because those are giant crappie. I'm going to catch a crappie quick, maybe, if he like, decides to bite. Speaking of the crappie, can't say that. It's not politically correct. Dude, look at them hauling butt. Those are gigantor crappie. Hopefully I can show you guys what I'm talking about. This is how I'm going to catch a 15-pound bass. Guys, watch this. I'm going to catch a crappie. Come on. You guys probably didn't see it, but that one almost ate that jerk bait. I just, you know, didn't cast to him until he was a foot from me, like a dummy. Pretty good little bass guy right here too. Oh, I gave up on the crappie. They're already gone. It's a good idea though for a quarter of a second. There's a guy by himself out there. You like swim bait? Let's try. Guy looks lost. Turn around. He turned, he turned. Maybe that guy wants a jerk bait. He looks kind of jerk baity. He looks big. Jerkins. Well, there's another one of those fuzzy guys. That guy just became a figment of my imagination. He disappeared. Oh, nope, there he is. He was just hiding in the ghost tree. Sneaky little place to hide. You know, since that's interference and we can't see anything, I wonder if they don't feel the beam when it's the ghost tree. Oh, here we go. This guy likes the jerk bait. Do it. Do it. The reason I threw a jerk bait to this guy was how high he was in the water column. He ain't gonna do it. He definitely didn't like when I stopped it. Every time I paused it there, he'd freaking turn back around. That's never a good thing. Back to swimming baiting. It's a big fish, I think. 
tough to tell when they're moving. See how it's once again on the bottom there. The guy's a fuzzy return because he's moving. Like that big one I caught earlier was a super super solid return and didn't look big, but it's because he was facing me, and so I couldn't see how long he was. And then as soon as he turned his body and started chasing my bait, I about pooped my pants. Which again isn't anything abnormal for me to poop my pants, but it was for a good reason this time. Like a good pants pooping. Unlike this fish that keeps swimming the wrong direction. I just want to see how big he is because he's fuzzy. He doesn't even look that big. It's like what guys talk about with bed fishing. When do you stop trying to catch the bed fish when it becomes personal? It's about the same thing with this damn pan optics. When it becomes personal between you and the fish and he ain't going to eat, you need to just quit. You know, There's a million other fish here and I'm still trying to catch this guy. He's coming up in the water column though. It makes me think that he saw me. Yeah, he definitely did. And I was running my mouth and not panning around, right? Look, he's still like, where did that go? Hiding in the tree. Here, this is where it went, right in your face. Go do it. Dang it. Oh well, his friend's out there deep. Look at all those guys out there far. This place is just mind blowing right now. Don't worry, the bite will be done in a week. You'll never be able to catch one here again. Oh, that's a big, big one out there. That's the type they write books about, Cole. That's a 10 plus, easy. Coming in from the sea and my bait's screwed up. <sighs> There's two of them now. Maybe he was two from the start. Yeah, there was two from the start. That means it's two five pounders, right? I'll catch a five pounder. No, no. Did he get it? Oh, eh. no, God, no. God, why? There's four giant bass. Giant might be an exaggeration, but they're at least five pounds. That's a big one on the bottom I want to get to. Stop swimming so fast. Sink. Ooh, he likes that. Ah! Dang it, Cole. No, man, I don't want the big one. I want these small ones that just swerved me and bit. That was craps, what that was. Not crappies, just crap in general. And that was a crappy cast. They're so fuzzy, they're just swimming away from us. So hard to see them when they do this. I'll probably catch a different one, bigger on, on accident. I think it's crappie galores out here. Yeah, those look like crappies.
Dang it. I can't even cast to catch a dang crappie today. It's ideal. First day with live scope. How to. How to use live scope for beginners. What in the world is that on the surface? There's a 20 pounder sitting underneath the surface right there. Stupid crappies just swimming onto the boat. Man, it's a good thing we're not making a crappie fishing video, Cole. I'd be embarrassing myself. I don't want to do that until later today. Dang it! Why is everything moving so fast in the trees? It's like they're chasing bait or something. That guy is just lost. Really wants to see what the panoptics is all about. It's what's happening with him. There he saw my swim bait finally. What a jerk. Total jerk. Cole stopping the clip. Yep. It wasn't going. No. Sorry. Hold on, it's like all choppy and confused now. But the, it's like not, rec it's like recording now. Should I turn it off and back on? I was just saying, Cole, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep filming the video. 14 hours of Ben live scoping fish that don't want to bite. Sign up for my E-class. This is like if people paid for a guide trip, except it was free and learned just as much. <laughs> it's confusing, but it's like that. Oh, that's a megalodon out there. Sure wish he would bite my lure that keeps breaking and screwing up, not staying on because I have no super glue. About to ask you for some tape, Cole. What do you think a bass would do if I had a taped swim bait on? Maybe some... Could have probably got some Elmer's glue at the gas station. Didn't even turn around. Rude. Yeah, I don't know if they got smarter or I got dumber, Cole, but... Either way, I can't cast hard right now or my cricket slips. Slippy cricket. Might have just had a, a lapse in the action, you know? Bite windows and stuff. Nope. That could be a big... Yeah, that's a bigger head shakes on that guy. Oh! <laughs> What'd you say? Net. I'll take the net though. He's not gi giant. Giant. He's just big. He's not giant. He's just big. This guy was five feet below the surface, Cole. I think he was swimming, looking for bait fish. You bad. Ugh. 
He ain't even that big, six pounder. Might be six. But a good fish nonetheless. You guys saw that one. He was, uh, that's like not even a six pounder, five and a half pounder probably. Right below the surface. Just hanging out up there, probably out roaming around looking for bait. That's the time when live scope is absolutely key. Would never have even had a chance. I mean, unless I was throwing a jerk bait out here. That guy was super active. He probably would have eaten a jerk bait. Oh, look, another one. Gotta catch him. Cole, I was editing a video, a bank fishing video I did the other day, and I dropped a, I was catching a lot of fish, and I was excited, of course, and I dropped a, uh, you know, I don't, I want to catch all the fish, and I said, you know, got to catch them all like Pokemon, and it's just, I was trying too hard, I think I forced it, I don't think you say that, I was like a 32 year old grown man. I don't know. It's just how I feel about it, but I'm not going to say that again. So if I ever say that again in a video, don't forgive me and make fun of me, guys. I cut it out, by the way. That was just stupid. Exactly. That's why I felt like it was just like, what can old Ben say that's pop culture relevant 10 years ago? And I dropped it, you got it, I want to catch them all like Pokemon. Can't believe I said that, I'm embarrassed. Back to deleting my channel. Dude. They are out here. You gotta freaking put it on these jokers, man. Here we go. What way is he going? Didn't like that. He like curled up in a ball and left. Here we go. Oh, he started swimming up to it like he liked it, and then he said, swerve. Can't catch them all, Cole, like Pokemon. These guys are just getting sneaky snakes. I think they're here in the pan, actually. It's so weird sometimes that they just don't even care, like most of the day today, and then sometimes you can tell when they feel it. They suck down to the bottom and stuff. It's really weird. Could be what's happening. I don't know. Maybe I need to tie on a one inch swim bait. Cole, you bring your cast net? Mm -hmm. Good, I want to see how big this shad is. This is a big fish if he sees my cricket. He sees it. Go get it. Smart. 
smart guy. Maybe. Oh, there's three. That front one's big though. The guy's gonna do it. Yeah, the smaller guy did it. Let's go see how big the smallest one is. You guys got a good size reference there for crickets. So this is about a two and a half pounder. So the one in front of him was probably 21, 22 pounds. That's a joke. They're starting to get a little sneakier and a little bit less bitey out here. I had to really finesse that one and do the old walk down the gunnel with it to make him bite. So. I think the bite window is maybe closing out here a little bit, or maybe they're just really aware of our boat. That happens after, obviously, any period of time when your boat's around a group of fish. So I'm going to keep throwing at these fish, and if I keep getting some negative feedback from them, we're going to go up in the timber and see if we can jerk bait some big ones. Or throw a little swim bait, because last time they were eating the swim bait in the trees there. So either way, I'm just going to try to catch them. Catch them all, right? I'm trying to find Tina. Tina? Gina? Gina? That must be a active feeding window in the morning, low light. Oh, he sees it. Oh, he swerved it. Are you serious? That fish saw it hit the surface and came up a long ways. He's a big one too. Still thinking about it. Oh, he swerved it again. Dang, that was crazy. That guy might've blasted a top water. That was nuts. Speaking of, here's another guy way up high. Not as big, of course. He's a pretty good size. Got it, nice. Pretty good fish. Oof. That sucked. It's probably a seven, eight pounder. Big old head shakes. Surface guy. Well pass. He seriously turn and try to eat that. God, so stupid. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, these fish are something else, man. This lake is just, it's going right now. It is freaking on. I hope I'm not horsing him too much. Oh, he's a pretty good fish, isn't he? Bigger than I thought he was. He's so much smaller fighting than the last one I hooked. Nice. Four pounder. So fat. So fat. He was up here, right by the dam on the little grass line. He was kind of just a, hmm, I wonder if I can get that guy to bite. He did, right away. Why did I just cut the clip? Come on, turn off. Wish I would have caught that big one. Can't complain. Weep. Weep. Freaking fingers not working today or what? I can't get these damn swim baits on straight. My brain's crooked. Good looking fish. Went right to it too. What's it gonna think when it swims? Do it, bud. Can't even reel because it's under the boat. So hard when they're swimming at you, especially in this deep of water to judge where you need to cast. We got him good there if he sees it. There's the one that just chased us. Swim by the new guy we're chasing. He sees it. Kept it above him. Is he gonna do it? Oh, he's right on it. Oh, he did not like when I shook my tip there. Ugh. Dude, there's so many. Oh, he likes it now, huh? He wanted it sped up. Whatever. Whatever, man. I'll catch your friend. Your friend's trying to eat that plane out there that's driving by anyway. This guy likes the looks of it. Maybe. Which one's bigger? The far one's bigger, and he's right by the surface, which probably means he's pretty much more active. He's definitely maybe more active. Spooked him, which is good. Here he comes, and he swerved it. What a jerk. Really thought he was going to do it. Turned on it. Let's see if we can get another opportunity at him. He's gonna see it again. He's gonna do it this time. I don't think he is, but it'd be cool if he did. No, he didn't move that time.
Oof. Crazy how high up these guys will travel. Especially today, apparently. One little pass out here deeper, Cole, and then we're going jerk and stick fishing, maybe. See how they react. It's a monster. Get it. Oh, no. No! Dang it, that was a big one. I wonder if he needed a jerk bait. Tough to get it down to see. Tell he feels it. Swimming up to it. Dang it. Yeah, that guy ain't gonna do it. Poop, Cole. Poop. Nope. This sucks, Cole. I just want to catch a 15 pounder. How hard is it? That is one of them right there. That is a big old fuzzy return. Come on, sink into his mouth. Just fall right into his little mouth, his giant mouth. No mouths were falling into, Cole. Let's try a rig on him. I've heard Alabama rigs work sometimes. Read it on Bassmaster.com. Oh, he's built like my A rig. Oh, don't you hide in that return. It's rude. Didn't even move him. I mean, you'd really think since they're eating balls of bait that an Alabama rig would be a good lure to target them. Apparently, that's a new. Just 
Gosh dang it, Ben. I ain't throwing that at him. That's a bit, real big one right there. That's one of them daggone grown ones, Cole. Real old big ones and big old real ones. I said he's gone. That's what I said. These guys aren't gone, though. Two of these guys just suspended, not moving in the water column. Let's see if they want to eat a lure. Yep. Nope. Yep. Yep. Like Ike. Okay. Woo! Woo! <laughs> this is a pretty big one. I should probably stop dicking around. <laughs> you said it's an eater? <laughs> See, I didn't know if I got a good enough hook in him, so I had to run to the back. Get some leverage. I wonder what they're doing, just sitting there in the water column, not moving. Looking for three inch swim baits, I guess. This is cool, Cole. If the video like creates and exports and does everything right, this will be, one of the coolest live displays of live scoping I think you can find on the interwebs. 30? Screw that. That's only a five pounder, you're right, cool. Look how beefy that guy is. That's what he's doing out there in the middle of nowhere. Eating crickets that swim by. Whew, you bet. Tough to catch a 30 pound bag with eight pounder, Cole. We're going for 35, 31. It's true, it's true, Cole. We just need a 14, that'll bump us up quick. 14 and eight, that's 22. And then what, we'll, and then we got three more six pounders and boom, easy. Really was cool. That's a pretty big fuzzy guy out there in the middle of nothing too though. Oh really? Not interested in that, huh? That might be a gar or something. Come on up and eat my cricket. There's no other crickets in the area. I know we felt it.
trying to line a cast up on this big fish. Can't get it right. There we go. That might have done it. It's moving though. Moving away from us. <coughs> and I probably just spooked him with my sneeze. Yep. Sneeze spooked him. going up because he sees it he might be he's not oh he turned he turned there he's chasing it I think yeah he's on it be stupid bud oh he swerved it no he came back oh, it's a big one <laughs> dang it I thought he was gonna do it Cole how do I leave this spot and go jerkbait the trees when there's giants here? Is the question. That guy's like, nah, I'm just gonna eat these real shad. Don't think I'm gonna give you a chance, sir. And that guy is far away. He heard my cricket hit and turned around. Yeah, he did. Here he comes. He's coming towards us now. But if we get it close to him, he's going to come up and slurp this. Watch this. Passed him. He slowed down because he liked that. But didn't cast good enough. We still are going to turn him around, though. It's so hard to hit him when they're moving on light tackle. Wind's blowing us. I tried to lead him where he's going a little bit. Another one of these fish that's five to eight feet below the surface, over 30. Too close to him now. We'll see if he still bites. Still moving sideways. Definitely is scared of the boat now. And we screwed it up. Oh, dang. That's a new fish. Look at that fish out there. 75 feet. Another one. Probably an active one. Trying to lead him just right. I let him too much. Yes, I did. And he's going down. I think he felt the beam. Dang it, Cole. That one was mostly Cole's fault. That we do know. That I can confirm. Yeah, we're gonna stay here for just a second longer. There's a couple million fish. Can't quite get it there. He went down to it anyway. Oh, he's on it. You can't really see it because I suck right now, but yeah, it's not good when they nose down like that. They're usually done though, like he is.
gonna do it. Yep. That small guy. Hi, small boy. Oh my god, that's a crappie. Look at that crappie. Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> How big is that crappie? I was wondering when I set the hook and nothing happened. He just came with it, what it was. Look at that boy. What? Oh my goodness. Cole, we gotta weigh this guy. And measure. And measure. Holy cow. That's like the fattest crappie ever caught. Out here swimming around with the bass fish. I guess he's big enough for the bass, can't eat him. Smart guy. Zero pounds, zero ounces, huh? Undo. There we go. He's not that big, but 242. That's a that's a beach ball crap. If I ever saw one. Dang. And he is probably just like 15 inches. 15. That was almost 16 inches. Look at that thing. God dang. Another picture guy, I think. That's freakish. Don't get eaten, bud. Auto. Hope the engine starts. It should start. We haven't used it in a while, though. It's very cold. Dude, how do you target those? They're just mixed in, apparently. That was wild. Well, we'll just catch them all, I guess, today, Cole. Not like Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, there's one for the viewers. Might have blocked it at least. Hopefully, for their sake. He was too big to even boat flip. Josh would be disappointed in me. I don't got a 14 foot rod though, so that would have helped. way up high. That ain't crappy. That's a walleye. Big old wall head. So you guys can see on the screen right now, those are just fish out there chasing the baits. Look at those guys right back there. You gotta get this little five pounder off and get back to trying to catch them. Uh! <laughs> wow, that was the best boat flip of all time ish. The fatty. 
This is getting ridiculous. In a good way. Just kidding, I don't want those other guys. I want this bigger one. But my stuff's all screwed up. Dude, they're just everywhere chasing this bait. This guy's doing the same thing. He's feeling the ping a little bit and he wants to come up to it. Now he's going away from it. Didn't want it. Where'd those other guys go? Oh, they're under the boat now. How convenient. I'd like for all of you guys to take note of the amount of boats that are out here right now in this spot for when this video airs the week after that when we come back here. Everybody take note. All right, great. That's a megalodon out there at 70. Deep though. Did I miss him? Or hit him right in the face? I think I hit him. Oh, I'm a little bit to the right of him. Dang it. He turned weird too. There's another one going towards it. I'm just try to catch this guy that's coming at us right now. Or we'll catch neither of them. That'd be fun. Two fish right there. I think I'm around him. It's all fuzzy. Yeah, he pretty much got it. He did get it. Little guy. Look, like his buddy's trying to take it from him. He's like, come back here, chief. I think he's small. Yeah, he's small. No, he's not. We got a Seth on. Little fighter guy. Oh god, then he slipped. I think it's a double. I got two on, Cole. This is way too hard of a fight for what we got on right now. Just pulling him the opposite direction. Did he just jump over there? That's messed up. Dude. He's bigger than I thought. See, this is what I'm thinking. I got two on. Doubled up, Cole. Their faces are just stuck against the thing. I know you're not that big. Maybe he's swimming at me the whole time. Of course, we wouldn't know when he was over there. Oh, he is pretty big. Look, he's just hooked all stupid. Thinks he's pretty clever. Ah!
Why was that such a hard fight? Oh my god, that one's big. I got to cast to him. I got a big fuzzy guy out there. That's a big, big one. Come on. Didn't even move him. Dude, that's a 10 pounder. Oh, we didn't like that. Maybe if I fall on his head, he'll like it better. Dang, man. The big, big ones don't want to go today. The medium big ones do. Better than zero. To. He's schmedium once again, so probably. Nope. Not that schmedium guy, he says. It's another big one. Kind of pendulum it to get it in front of him. Let's see what he does here. phase him, did we? We're a ways away. Deal. New fish. Less fish might mean bigger fish, too. That's kind of big looking. Oh God, he just ate that little bait fish on the surface. Yep, game over. Oh, he noticed it, here he comes, now he's chasing it. Why are you up so high? That's a jerk bait, Chuck. Come on, we'll eat the jerk and stick. No, he's getting away. He's gone. Can't believe he didn't eat that swim bait. Probably a nine pound crappie that time. Just a nine pounder, nothing big. Nothing big, Hux. Is that a fence line? It is. That's where the bigs are at, Cole. Well, I was about to go throw a jerk bait in the trees till I kept catching them here. I swear we're going to eventually though. Cole, what's the maximum length of time of video you can put on YouTube? Seven hours? Seven hours and 59 minutes and 59 seconds. That's what we're going for. And we gotta keep up our rate, like a fish every like eight minutes. It hasn't been that good. It's been good though. Dude, I know you're swimming around looking for bait fish. Don't swerve my little cricket. You gotta swerve my cricket. I know there is a 15 pounder out here swimming around somewhere. We've probably seen him.
Well, it ain't gonna be that guy, because he just swerved us too. Maybe it's that guy. Nope, it's not. He looks too small. That guy's decent size. That's a big, big one, actually. Sink, buddy, sink. Oh, go get it, go get it. He went and got it. That's a big one. Oh, net coal. <laughs> That's our biggest. Yeah, I saw that that was a big one. And the crazy thing is how many of these are out there. He's freaking, why are these ones skinny? Yeah, he would have been a 10 pounder if he wasn't so skinny. He might be anyway, but. God, they're so strong. Just swimming around out here. <laughs> no thank you sir I do not want to be netted yet sir he's going to jump into your net Cole we've got color on him we've got color it's like wicked tuna another one of them long dongs not whisker just a regular Big ol' head, look at that. Is that a, that's a single fister, can you, that's a double fist head, look at that. <laughs> so that's kind of like animal cruelty, I think. I should not do that, probably. Freaking tiny swim bait. Long, big head guy. Freaking long, big head guy. Probably not any different of a fish than the 12 I caught the other day. Just completely skinny and not long like the other big guy. Let's check him and see. See how much that he weighs. Zero, another zero pounder. There we go. He might barely be eight and a half. No, he's not, dude. He's only seven something. Seven. Seven oh five. So long. Dude. So long. I thought he was bigger than that when I saw his head come up. He was just like, <laughs> <laughs> gotta freaking love it. Big old head. Well, that wasn't very graceful, but it wasn't my fault. Spinning rod, man, it's crazy. I talk to you guys about this spinning rod a lot, but it's turned out to just be my favorite by so much for throwing these little swim baits, but it's like, it's not out yet. It's gonna be new when we get our new shipment in of Melican rods. 7.4, medium light, moderate fast. Enough, it's got a fast enough tip that it hooks them with that little hook, but it loads up all the way through the rod blank. And so you can just lean. And it is just perfect for this. And obviously, I mean, caught a 12.8 on it the other day. Caught 10 plus pound wipers on it. Catfish. It handles big fish. It's crazy. Still got the same jig head and everything on that I started with. Can't tell you how many of those I've seen that are like that one right there too. It's a crazy place. Let's keep it up. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Let me know in the comments down below. Drop a comment if you want to see more videos like this because it's something I've really wanted to do and I've tried to do it a few times, but the bites just sucked. But right now it's absolutely fire. So we're gonna keep coming out here. Let's get a bigger one. Thanks Cole. Kill it all. Kill the clips. All right. Time to find some other ones. This is insane.
those guys are going to bite. They are out looking and they are nose up. There he goes. <laughs> Just stupid, man. <laughs> oh. It's so cool when you see them from when they're down and you see their chin come up in this water, this tannic water, it's like red. Do you notice that? Their chin and like their underside when they roll over looks red down there when they're like three feet down. It's so cool. How many of those guys were there? Hopefully you guys saw that nonsense. What am I even gonna do for like the time tags and when stuff happens? Like, do I even put the six pounders and the five pounders? Look at that. He was just sitting on the bottom at some point. He ain't now. A lot of times when you see fish like that this time of year, it's a good sign to uh, throw something on the bottom. God, he stunk. Maybe the bottom stinks. Oh yeah, that's what that was. But um, these fish are ambushing. They freaking were looking up. I don't know if they heard the ping and they thought it was bait fish or something, but I'm gonna catch his friend. Right now. Oh, he liked it and then he swerved it once it stopped falling straight down. He got so confused. With one of those crappie bass. Oh, this guy's still right by the trolling motor. How about you looking for Shad? He said, you're a little too close, but I like you, but you're too close. Yep, that guy's looking like he needs to be caught. Bad cast. Will he still get it? No, he will not. Dang it. That guy needs to be caught. He's big. He bumped it as it went by, or I bumped him. God, that's a big one. That might be another one of them 12s. Oh, no. He's pointed the, down. He's not pointed a good direction for us to catch him It'll be active it's a giant one though I think I hit his tail when I went by him hit something So confused. Weird, Cole. Those might be giant crappie or something, the way they're acting. They're so high up. What in the world? Those might be crappie. They want a double jig. I need more June bug on my chartreuse here. 
That's got to be what they are. Jerk stick, maybe? Well, now you're going to swim away. We'll see about that. Come on up, your eyes are on the top of your head. There he comes. Those are bass. <laughs> so funny, they like, they won't eat an A-rig. They won't eat a freaking three and a half inch swim bait. I am glad that I've spent time with this little tiny swim bait doing completely different stuff besides bass fishing this time of year for times like these when it applies, that's for sure. I think that's called being well-rounded. God, bad day to be a Chad. Well, I'm not going to catch those, so let's just watch them mow down this shad right here. All of them just working together. Like dolphins or something. Look at them busting the shad up. Oh, well, you go that way, I'll go this way. Nuts. And truthfully, those are all probably under five pounds anyway, so. Again, fun. Just... We'll let those be. This one looks like he might be a little bigger. And easier to catch for my small brain. And he's not. What do you know? He's chasing the real thing. Sorry for everyone that wanted to see a timber video. Uh, accidentally catching them all out here instead. Well, we ended up staying at the uh, open basin dam area a lot longer than I expected to because you can't leave them biting, obviously. Uh, saw some giant, giant ones that we didn't get to go. Lost another good one, I think, in the seven to eight pound range, but I can't complain with anything. Absolutely incredible. Now, like I've been hinting at, we've been talking about for a while, we're gonna go up in the uh, standing timber, see if we can't get a couple to go in there. Um, I'm still gonna throw the little single swim bait, but probably mix the jerk bait in a little bit too that can just be so much more effective at times um, than something that's moving if you can stop it right next to a tree. But fish are surprisingly decently active and it's incredible. Like I keep saying, that's not usually what happens when you're scoping at any time of the year. We've had days where they're more active than this, but you don't just catch them over and over and over. Those fish uh, obviously are chasing bait and for whatever reason, that little guy is all they want. So let's keep moving around. Obviously, there's crappie in here, so I'm going with the crank wrap, provoke, crappie pattern. Clearly are uh, trying to be swervy with my favorite color, the ghost bone minner today. So they're coming up and looking at it real hard like, just not really pulling the trigger, but that's a bad dude right there. What else is a bad dude is the jerkbait casket. I used to spend so much money on the damn Shimano boxes they used to have, and these things are 10 times better. And they're way cheaper. And they're available, I think. I'm pretty positive they're available. I'll link them below. Protectio jerkbaits. Fits a bunch of different types too, not just the six cents. And if you're crazy like me, you like to use some exacto blades and create your own cavities that fit deep divers too. And we're coming out with a whole bunch more, I'll just say that. That's all I'm gonna say, Cole, I'll just say that. Speak of the devil, I'll just say that. Oh, I filled my pants. 
We do a new clips. Yahtzee! Oh, poor teeth. Jaw. Okay, timbers. Shiver me. Fish the shiver me. Looks like we might be able to back off the gain a little bit here. See what we can find. Is that bait up there? That's probably bait. Yeah, that's bait. That appears to be maybe a fish. Bluegill. Well, went back and uh, fished some of the trees. Didn't see a whole lot of bass back there. And we actually went and caught a bunch of crappie. Spoiler alert, we caught more crappie like you guys saw earlier. Two and a half pounders and made a crappie video, which you probably have already seen by the time we put this out. But we're back at the dam. We're gonna spend about an hour and a half and then we're gonna blast out of here, head home. Um, it's gotten a lot warmer. Sun's up higher, obviously. That's what happens, you know, when, when days occur, in case you weren't aware of how the sun works. But uh, the, earth spins. the earth spins and then the, the, sun stays there. the earth stays flat and it just rotates all flat. Like, <laughs> no, we don't actually believe that. You guys relax. <laughs> but uh, let's see if we can make some bigs bite. Do it. Oh, he swerved it. God dang it. That was a big one. That one came up and got her. About time. Back in the game, Cole. Tooth decided to start hurting. Oh, so if I'm not talking too much, it's because I'm getting a root canal in three days. I was supposed to get one yesterday.
What the f <laughs> What is that guy doing? Sending it. What do you think? False send, bud. Oh, that's a big one. Come on, cast. Oh, it's two. There he's going after it. Another one only wanted it on the fall. Guy's a badass, Cole. Get over it. That's a giant one. Come on. <coughs> oh no. Dang it, Cole. Frickin' scope doesn't want to work for shit right now. Uh. Yeah, they don't like that quarter ounce as much, that's for sure. Cast so much better. Yes, so much, like, such minuscule difference. This definitely falls faster. So many of them just want to eat it on the fall. They might not be as bitey right now too. Get it. Oh, man.
wild. That's a big one. Yes. <laughs> it's a good one. I don't think he's he's not giant giant though. I got it. Another one of these chucks. Pissed off one. Can't catch big bass on spinning rod coal. They all get off. They just break your line every time. Shouldn't say that last time we said that. The lake got wrecked by everyone and their mom traveling from across the world. I was trying to think of a funny way I could like get this one in the boat, but I thought I should just catch it. So fat. I thought this one was bigger than he was. For splash! Then I felt his wiggly little tail. Just like to punch him, Cole. Cole, get the spinning rod and come up here. Punch yourself in the face, too. As hard as you can. If you can put it on that one, you probably catch him as high up as he is. 60 feet, that's probably about perfect. But I would start reeling. He's like under the surface. He go the other direction. Oh no, scope's being weird right now. Oh no, he was on you. He just didn't feel like doing it. No, he's not. He would have. No, those are bass behind bait. Those guys are really tough to catch because they're eating the real thing and they're swimming fast as shit. Like that. Didn't even get close to him. But I bet there's some giant ones that are underneath those bait balls. Yeah, there's definitely one inside that. Just 
going to be real tough to uh, get to eat a lure. Is that a fish? It is a fish. It's kind of crappie acted. <laughs> Do it. I think that's a crappie. Big ass crappie. Did you? Did he think about it? He didn't even talk to you. Not even a wave. Well, that's good. That's probably him again, isn't it? Now we'll be able to see our baits hit better. There's way more this morning. I don't know what the deal is. I'm not that mad about it though. Honestly, they probably uh, probably bite better now. Probably bigger. Wind stopped. It's probably not helping. Don't be fucking stupid, dumbass thing. Go ahead and keep blasting around for a little spark shed on, I think. Jet bud, are you like worried that uh, your dad's gonna get stolen or what's the deal? I like your shoes. I noticed a long time ago, I just didn't want you to think I did. I want to mess with your head a little bit. Any guys? I thought there was a couple under that ball of bait. But it's being so it's stupid. Being yeah. There's a fucking, there's, a, guy, there's yeah. a couple. They're hauling ass. It's the same typical shit when they're. Uh, that's okay. We'll find other ones. This out here is where I caught my big one. It's where. I've seen so many b better quality fish today. Yeah, there's some fucking trees out here. Yeah. That's what my big one looked like. Except he was going the other direction. And I also can't see it. There's 
just don't know, like, that's what carp look like. To him. What the hell that is? Hadn't even tried a spark shot here yet. Sure, it would work. here anymore though. A couple of them are. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah, it is. Damn it. Just missed him. Further right, cool. He's like back there now. I don't know where he went. That's okay, there's those. Throw to the right of where I did, go over my right shoulder. Because that's one of the big ones. Where the fuck did he go? That's a giant, not a giant, but that's a good fish up top. That's an eater. I think you would know if you were that close to the surface. To the right, cool. There you go, perfect. You're past him. Damn it, I wasn't far off him, but he's a big. That's a big out there, too. Oh, right, right to him. Ran away from it, huh? That sucks, because that's a big one. Here he comes. Uh. Do it, bud. Oh, that was a big one. Dang. There's another one. There's a big one over there, too. Big in school. Really? No. He wants to do it. Well, fuck, they don't like the spark shot either. Thank Jesus for Kytex being created. Cut that coal. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they're good, they're good people.
the same guys. <laughs> well, we're both going to be wrong. I think so. Because they moved. They're chasing that, and that thing is big. That's the 10 plus for sure. Look how crazy the bait just went. You almost got to get lucky. And I also think the bait is more susceptible to the to the ping than the fish are, so they move out of it. But I went right into them. Wish he was underneath them. Eh, what'd you go after that guy? Get him, Cole. If you can put it on him, he'll probably eat because he's moving quick and he's going up. I think those go up because they hear the ping. Yep. Where's your cricket? Ah! Barely. Dude, what the hell? Five feet in front of him. It's alright, that one must be bigger. I think he went after it. Oh, yeah, you're right on. Definitely don't twitch it and shake it. You've probably seen me do that, but it doesn't work. Here we go. He sees it now. He didn't get it. Dude, he is on you. He said swerve, didn't he? Ooh. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, they don't like that bait, dude. At least here, today. Yeah. <coughs> it's okay, they don't like anything else either. It's a good fish. Get him. Mm -hmm. close to him. He don't want to eat. Let's try his other friends. Eh, that one's pretty tough too. Is there a guy up? Yeah, that guy up top. 60 right now, Cole. There you go, perfect. He's hauling butt this way. Big. Get in there. S sneaky little snakes. Oh, my bad. Too busy looking for the next one. On to my next huge embarrassing failure. One would think. It's a big one, too. Now he sees it. Yeah, you would think so. There was a big one on the tip of this tree out here. Where'd that go? There he is. That's a 15. Disappeared. Bite. 
They're just everywhere when you get in the right spot. I know you see it falling. Maybe not. Maybe your bros out there will though. It's a big one out there, 75. Hit the brakes, that's weird. There's two of them. Go get it. Yeah. Go get it, he's swimming away from it. Turn around. The heck are you afraid of? Try that one. That's another 10 plus there. He's to the left, cool. Yeah, that's a 12 or 13 there. Easy. Just turn the wrong way. About to create a small Kai Tech with a 3-3. The 3-3 is so much bigger than the 2-8. Still put it right to him. And he turns around. How about that guy? Probably already tried to catch him. And yeah, don't waste your time on him. How about that guy? Let me set us up here. He's going up. I like that. That should be good. It's going to the left, I think. He's hauling ass the other way. That's a big fish though. I think I'm short. Yep, he's trying to... Oh, that's a big one behind it too. They're all a big one. Maybe uh, Demiki would work now. I don't know. Or an A-Rig. As weird as they've gotten. The spark shed. It's wild. Or that. You haven't got one on that yet. What's weird is my single sinks a lot faster than my A-Rig, the way I got it weighted. <laughs> that guy ain't even worth going after. Yeah, he went for the real stuff.
you damn. She doesn't know what the f he's doing. Yep. He's on you. Yatsuhi! Slotsy! Oh, it's the smallest one. God dang it. This rod must be stiffer than the one you're using. <laughs> Good release, Cole. Dang it. That's funny. That's something. No bite, just yeah, that's what, they've all been that way. Yeah, side. they just pull. Kind of like the crappie. Eat him. It's kind of sad that's all we can catch right now. Got another one coming. Oh, what this guy's doing. Not going my way. That's a big something chomping down there. Look at that. He's going to do what the other ones do. Hide out in the trees now. I mean, that's that's a giant, giant one. Look at him. Here he comes again. That's that's a share lunker guy. Always oh, going right for my stuff. Turn. Sweet. Oh, he's on it. Oh, he was on it. No. Oh my god, dude. Look how big it is. Easy meal. Ugh. That sucks, man. That one's so big. Oh, thought he might be going after it. That's another giant one. Dude, Cole, how big was that? That was a different dude. That was on the bottom in 26 feet and he looked like that. Definitely over 10, but you're snagged. Lift up. There you go. This guy's freaking moving, of course. What a jerk trying to eat bait. Pain to my soul. What did he not like? Something cued him. That's a big one. Seriously, a tree? Does he see me? I'll be able to see it. Nope. Swerved. Waza.
Where are you going? That's a monster something. Monster carp. Good luck getting them out. I don't think there's any way that's bass. Cool if it was though. That was. Freaking swimmers. And gone. That guy's hauling ass. Look at him go. Freaking big, too. Where the hell did he go? There. And gone. That's a big ass fish. Drop it, Cole. Wrong way, he's going to the left, and he's gone. How fun that was. Get him. Little gap guy. Couple gap guys, you're so close. Just can't see anything because of the tree. Double. Double snag. Is that him? What in the world? He He's turned into a beach ball. Might be a crappie. Oh my god, Cole. Why? Is this a bass? I can't even tell. It's a bass. My drag was so freaking loose, I think from fighting the last one. Why did he bite and the rest of them don't want to? Hey, it's over there. I keep forgetting how long my leader is. It's a pretty good fish. Ugh. Popping his lips open. Day is about to come to an end here. We're about to get back on the road. No giant ones yet. We've seen a couple that are easily over 10 or 12. Still gonna give it a go. A couple more minutes. It's been so fun. Dude, we get a fucking 12 pounder out here, it's gone, done, broken off. Gotta hook them first though, right? I mm, don't like when I shoot them and they go down. Seems to happen in these trees so much more. Funny is, I have a wind knot in my braid that I've had since Ivy for all these fish. Look, look at that. It's getting worse. Beauty. It's getting way worse. Add some action. There's another one. Found a group of them. Yeah, I found something. Here we go. That's a big one. Oh no, Cole, that one's really big. Uh, Should have been caught. Dang it, dude. Look at that. Ripped his fucking tail off. Dang it, Hux.
Are you f***ing up or what? Missed that opportunity. Maybe. God damn it. Yeah, that's a fish, dude. Some of them have been there. Fuck that one. He's probably really small if he's up that high. Just short. Come on, man. Now they're going to turn around and come back this way, I'm sure. Oh. It's going to say, I think he's on you. Yeah. He bumped it. Well, Did he? he? I want to get his buddy. Yeah, another small one. That's dumb. Good job, Cole. Dude, it looked, you. looked bigger. It's a bigger fish. Guy. Yep. They are. Except for the nine, eight and nine pounders. Yeah, what the heck. Those are just little chucks. Little butterball guy. Yeah. He's eating the bait wads. I love it. Yeah, they did. Those looked like good ones, but I haven't caught one that is big when there's multiple like that. That one's big. Yep. Dang it, I thought I threw further than that. He's kind of postured right, too. Now he's not. God dang it. There we go. Yeah. Not behind him enough. Hey, I don't think he's a biter. I want an easy one. Is he going away from us? Big. Got something that'll turn you around, boy. Let's let's just pass up a couple twelve pounders to get this one that's probably never gonna bite. Did I short him? Shorted him. Get him, Cole. That's big. Let it go down. Freaking hauling ass sideways. Oh, he sees me. <laughs> it's a big one. You bet. I think. Let's see. Never can. Never can. I think that eventually. Hopefully it takes a while, that means he's big. 
This is like the walk-off fish. Yeah, he's fighting different. His head, his uh, head shakes too close though to be a giant, giant one. I think I'm just a baby. He probably would be pulling too if he was bigger. He like, hasn't started doing much yet. <laughs> Yahtzee! Woo! Got me in the face! Dude, chill. Well, should we call it a day? I guess this will be a little walk-off fish. Five and a half pounder. Didn't know if he was going to be a giant one or not, but absolutely incredible day of fishing. Like I told you before, you have to let us know if you want to see more of these live videos like this. I've had a blast doing it. I don't want to go home at any point, but we got family stuff to do. It's Friday. We got to get home for the weekend and we'll be back to this lake right here. Let me know if you guys want to see some type of different um, live video or what we could do different to make it better for you guys to watch. Cole got a couple. I was happy to see that and uh, never underestimate what this guy can do even in Texas, even in stained water. Sometimes they want that tiny presentation. Thanks so much for watching this film efforts. Hit the subscribe button and share this with someone that you think would enjoy watching fishing. I just flat out don't think that many live scoping live videos where people are actually showing you how to catch those fish have been made before. But uh, thanks for watching them efforts. I'm out of here. Peace.